Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster Alpha 3. This is the second episode in Sarsaparilla Hills, our western themed area of our time travel themed theme park. Themed theme park, always sounds weird to me. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a sound, let me know. Just giving you guys a quick overview of what we accomplished last time. We made a little burger stand and we made our uh, desert coaster. Right now I'm working on a couple more buildings that I wanted to throw in here, specifically right now we're doing a drink stand, a cosmic cow. And again, just trying to build these after what western buildings look like in my head. Not basing it off of anything, but going with our standard wood designs. I wish there was like a rougher wood texture wall. Because right, this one looks a little bit too clean. Like, I love that roof texture we're using right now. That looks a lot more rustic. And I wish it was uh, applicable to the walls. But unfortunately, that texture is only available on the roof. And no, you cannot rotate roof or wall pieces uh, to go vice versa. You can't make a roof piece of wall. You can't make a wall piece of roof. There has been some confusion about that in the past. Only items that have the full 360 degree uh, range of motion across, across all three axes are scenery pieces, not actually building pieces. So it's a little strange. Basically the rule of thumb is if a, build, if a piece causes a grid, then it can only rotate around one axis. If a piece doesn't cause a grid, it can rotate around three axes. So that's the general rule of thumb of remembering what pieces can do what. Because I've been getting a lot of comments saying, oh, why doesn't he just do this? I'm like, that's the general reason. Unless it's like something that I am forgetting, uh, for the most part, that's why I'm doing things. There we go, Cosmic Cow's looking alright, just adding some more wooden beams and stuff. I love doing a little dress setting like that, putting the uh, barrels, putting that little la uh, ladder hanging on the outside. Even though I think we do remove those later. And then for this spot over here, I thought just a nice little hill would look nice. So we're just kind of uh, growing it out a little bit, wanting to make it a little bit rougher. So, <laughs> the roughen tool does work pretty well, almost too well sometimes. So then just adding some more cacti, throwing up bugs. I like these dead trees, they're really cool looking. Those might be cool to use in the future if we do like a spooky section of the park. I think that'd be cool, a lot of dense dead trees. There's even a tree labeled spooky trees. That'd work perfectly there. You know, and what was I doing here? Oh, now I'm designing a, uh, a lantern post for this uh, area. Just tossing the lantern up there, trying a couple different things, seeing what I like. And then since it's very similar to the one we were using in the medieval section, I decided to mix it up a little bit by putting some of the driftwood pieces uh, kind of wrapping around it using the gray pieces. Just trying to get that a little bit different looking. It's hard to do because uh, some of the lanterns end up looking alike. Like this is basically the uh, the one I used in the medieval area, uh, but it's not double sided and it, it has the new wrapping on the post, but it still helps differentiate it, make it look a little bit different. So we're just lining those all down the path. I always do that where I build them on the empty path, but then when I actually fill in the path, I end up having to move quite a few of them. So it never really works out like that, but oh well. And then to mix it up, since our other buildings in the area were all wood, I thought I'd use the limestone plaster, because I just want to mix it up a little bit. And it does look decent. It's not a bad texture. And again, I'm placing all of these buildings about one uh, grid length away from the sidewalk, just so I can put my little boardwalk all around it. And this one's actually going to have a balcony on the second floor. Uh, this building will be a restroom, but I was trying to make it look like some sort of like old tavern or old hotel in the west, something like that. Or an inn, I guess the better term would be. I don't think they called them hotels then, but oh well. And then just doing our standard uh, wall design on the top with a recessed roof. Is it recessed if it's that direction? It's like when they have recessed lighting, that tends to be like pushed up into the ceiling. Not entirely sure, but oh well. It still looks good. And then for this one, I wanted to add a touch of color, because normally we've been doing everything like the brown or beige and stuff, so just very subtly I wanted to do some color. Uh, so we do uh, lining up on the top, trying to see what works, and I like the kind of the red. So we decided to go ahead and do that. It's a nice, subtle red. I don't want anything too bright or vibrant in this area. Uh, just because I don't. I don't think it matches with the theme very well. I kind of like the more darker, beigey, sandier tones, which makes sense because we have sand everywhere. Sand, it's everywhere. Get used to it. And if you if you can tell me what movie that's from, you win at internet point. It's a very obscure movie. Well, not super obscure, but I don't know, it's hard to describe without giving away what it is, but there you go. Uh, then we just continue with the red theme, the red windows, and the red-ish door, I suppose. See right there, I had to move that lamppost. And then I wanted it kind of away from the main area, uh, so I decided to sink a toilet back there just into the building, so it gives people an actual place to go. You know, I should replace that. Oh, we have a dirt path right there. I re I I'm going to replace that with a regular path, 
just like one of the stone paths or something because it doesn't really make sense if you you're going inside of a building why would it still be dirt i don't know what i was thinking i guess i wasn't thinking isn't that the usual response like what were you thinking i was like oh the problem is we weren't thinking that's that's what you're supposed to say to your mom if you're ever in trouble and she says that right i guess or maybe that's a little bit too predictable i'm not sure i'll throw down some flat rides now we've got a uh, what, I was, what's this one called Aer aeronauts i think and I thought this was a new one in Alpha 3, but I guess it's not. It's an Alpha 2 one? Who knew? Anyway, I was tossing that down, making a little pond right next to it, and I was trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do to enclose this. And we're going to do something similar to what we did in King's Lake with the uh, the flying pig ride. It was just uh, build our own little like wooden fence to kind of just enclose the area. Because I would like to enclose a ride completely. This one's a little too big. It, that, that, that idea works better with things like... Uh, the, when we did the, um, the Ferris, not the Ferris wheel, I almost did it again. Someone called me out on that couple of weeks ago. When we did the merry-go-round in Seatopia, when we put it in that barn, that looked really cool. We, that, that was the Wild West section, so we could have done the same thing here. Uh, but I decided to just, uh, wrap it in a fence, because with the larger rides, if you enclose them, especially in a space like this, where it's mostly western and the buildings weren't too big, uh, it wouldn't really make sense. So we're just going to build our own little fence kind of enclose it into its own area and then just kind of dress the area up with a bunch of cactus and bushes and things like that and so maybe some random props mm. and then just adding another hill here because i really don't want all this flat land everywhere i wish the terrain tool didn't work at the border i could just stop because then it would stop all the, the sand from bleeding over i don't know why i keep putting dead trees on tops of hills that's something I need to do more. I need to put more of these red rocks around. I really want them to be relatively consistent and kind of like a motif throughout this area. So that's something I will have to do. Uh, I get so many ideas when I'm recording these things that I end up adding a lot of them off camera. Like I've done work to pretty much all three of the previous areas off camera after recording these voiceovers because I think, oh, that's a good time to do that. Oh, it's a good time to do that. And it's funny because a lot of them, a lot of times the people comment and say, hey, you should do this. And I ended up, uh, it's like, oh, I already did that. Like. I just put up the first video of this part, uh, this section today, and someone's like, "Oh, you should put some yellow lights inside of the uh, mine in your uh, desert coaster." I was like, "Oh, already did. <laughs> I did that uh, this morning. Actually, before recording this, I was just kind of flying around checking things out. I was like, oh, that might look cool. Don't know why I didn't when I wasn't recording, but oh well. There we go. So it's starting to fill out a little nicer. Looking all right. The fence certainly helps separate the area to make it feel a little bit more contained. And I wasn't planning on putting another right here, but we had a big open space behind the... Well, it's kind of in between the uh, the drink stand and the uh, giant toilet. This... I don't, I don't know what I was doing here. I just wanted a small structure for the ATM. So I just put like a little brown cube. If you guys have any ideas of what I can make this, that'd be cool. Just something... I don't know, there's something small Old West theme. I was having trouble thinking of something to do there, but we'll definitely edit that up a little bit because I'm just not really happy with that. So it's just something small, Old Western-ish. Anything that fits the theme or the frontier theme. It could be like a like a cloth wagon, one of those, a covered wagon. Because we do have wheels and stuff, we could try and do that. Or we can make like an outhouse or a water tower. Maybe I'll, I'll try some of these. And then I wasn't sure about whether or not I wanted to do this in this area which was actually wrap the whole area in a wall and kind of contain it uh, i ended up deciding to just because i like the look of the 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 medieval area with the wall containing the whole thing so we're gonna do that and i might go do that to the other areas the other areas are pretty contained just to the, from the terrain so it might not be necessary uh the medieval area definitely needed it because it's completely flat there's no hills in there at all this area has like half hills half flat kind of surrounding the whole area uh, the Greek area and the prehistoric peaks, they tend to be a little bit more contained with terrain, so I don't think it's 100% necessary, but we might, uh, I might do it, whatever, just to be, just to try it out. I'll just try, just try and think of a different wall to, to do that with. Like, the prehistoric area, would be tough to think of a wall. Maybe just, like, dead trees with a bunch of wood in between. Or maybe just trees? I'm not sure. The Greek area would be relatively easy. And then this was annoying me, so I was like, okay, we're just gonna fly in this terrain. And just uh, slice the wall through there. There we go. Oh yes, now I'm building walls now, so we're gonna get 300 people in the comments going, huh, 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 Donald Trump joke. I swear, every time I say wall or reference a wall, someone in the comments like, huh, Donald Trump, he'll Illuminati, huh, huh, huh. God. That just annoys me. I, I hate internet humor. It's really, 
like the vast majority of it. It's people who are wholly incapable of being original or creative themselves just regurgitating whatever the internet tells them is funny. It gets a little old after, well especially when I have to police a YouTube comment section all day every day. As you can imagine, I'm not that jaded, I'm just a little, I, I, I'm exposed to more of it than the average person. Which I would say. And here's the second round I was talking about. We ended up going with the, um, is it the High Flyer? I forgot the name of this one. No, the High Flyer is the other one. That's right, this one doesn't have its its sign in the game yet. So we ended up using a sign for one of the different flying rides. And we just kind of tucked it in back there. Kind of in between the alleyways of the uh, other buildings. The Cosmic Cow and the Restroom. And then I wanted to cover this up a little bit, so I decided to uh, just extend that roof. Kind of make those buildings connected now. Came out looking all right. And this is a little trick I was doing. Since I already had those paneled areas. I was like, okay, we can just copy and paste those walls. Delete the bottom couple ones and then put that. Oh no, this one's Sky Ace. That's right. So the the signs for the new rides that were added to Alpha 3 are not in the game. Only Alpha 2, Alpha 1 and 2 rides have uh, their signs. Which is a little disappointing, but you know, I'll just call this Sky Ace and no one will be the wiser. It'll all be good. And dang it! I just realized I did it again. I forgot to change the color of my rights. <laughs> I don't know why this keeps happening. Ugh. I've played, been playing this game since March, and we've never had the option to change the color of flat rides, so I keep forgetting that I can. Ugh. I really need to start remembering to do that. There we go. Welcome to Sarsaparilla Hills. Looking real nice. Got a little stable over there on the right. Flying through it. So we do have the red rocks in this area. I just need to do more of them. Kind of scattered throughout. And then we have the Chief Beef. Oh, that is a full trash again. I should probably hire some more janitors and fly it into our sky ace. That sign seems a little low. Maybe it's just some tall. I'm a little paranoid about that. I'm gonna hit my head on it. I do hit my head on lots of things. It's, it's not very good. I should just wear a helmet all day every day. I was pretty proud of this shot. Just happened to time in perfectly like, oh, here it comes. Woo! <laughs> it's pretty cool. We have a little barn over there on one of the rope lifts. Some random little pieces. I do like those uh, those troughs over in the side. Those are pretty cool. You can imagine there'd be horses or something there. There's the restroom. Oh, almost hit the attendant right in his little head. I just love the castle in the back there over in mid midway or medieval midway. It's real cool. I'm just flying through here. This actually came out timing. The timing worked out here pretty well too. Look at that. Let's go back to the coaster. Let's go back around. I love those rides that kind of move up like that. Have a lot of verticality, looks pretty, pretty cool. And we're gonna get all artsy and sneak in there through the beams. Oh, I hit the lady in the head. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this. Yes, Aeronauts, that is the name. And then we have our one little spot of desert water. Actually, I guess there was one behind uh, the coaster bay as well. This ride's pretty cool. I do not remember this being an Alpha 2, but I guess it was. Maybe I just never used it. It's like a spin on air balloon ride. Pretty, pretty cool. That is about it. Again, I'm going to be doing a lot of finishing touches and stuff through Sarsaparilla Hills. Uh, but I'll give you guys another point of view. Coaster ride. We did this last time, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of take a look at it again. Just to kind of end with climbing up the hill. I know it's actually moving the camera around and stuff, so that definitely makes it a little bit more cinematic because you can look around more at stuff. Uh, excuse me. I keep trying to burp today. It's gross, why am I telling people this? I don't know. There's a big drop. I I feel like this one turns a little bit to, too much to the right. Like it's constantly going right, but that's eh, not too bad. But guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Planet Coaster. Make sure you leave a like if you're enjoying. If you want to see more Planet Coaster in the future, get ready to start on our future area in the next episode. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.